Okay, so I'm going to work on this coat a bit more. This is the next day. Um, I had a lot of meetings pop up, so I wasn't able to really work on my subquery yesterday. So I'm working on that now. I need to move. I am going to left join to my subquery. So I created my subquery here to select and I made sure that I was getting back one record and I actually need to indent this a little bit more. This is just formatting for me and I move my group by. Okay, so I need to select this. I need to move these columns up. So I'm selecting this. Hold on, this is called A have this column so I don't need it twice. Left join on. So I'm just, so I'm selecting this month name and then this I don't need. So selecting from, left joining this on B and A and left join on so I have my join I need to look at and I'm using a max date I'm doing the max date for one of the field names so I have to use a group by with the group by you have to group the fields that are not aggregated so for example like if I'm entering a name that I'm not it's not aggregating like I'm not doing a count or anything of names so for that field I can just group it by so I'm going to group by columns two three four five six because I have a total of well my first column is an aggregate the other what is it five or not so let's run this and see and we've been having some delays in Teradata yay y'all can't see this but I got back my one row of data Yay, I'm so happy that worked. Okay, so now I'm going to, because I put in my word clause because when I'm testing, I like to test it on like one specific like line or for this example, one specific employee I'm looking at to make sure I get one row of data back. So what I did was I, in my where clause or where statement, I put in that employee's identifying information so that I could see if it's working on them. So now I can comment that section out in my where, in my where clause, like where this equals this. And I can take that out and I can rerun this and pull back everyone instead of just limiting my selection back to that one employee and hope that I only get this one employee back. I mean, hopefully I only get one row per employee back. If not, we got more testing and I'm not getting that. So I got more testing to do and find out why.
everybody happy Friday it is July 19th if, if you care but today I am um, I'm trying to figure out what I need to be working on because I I took a week off from work for vacation I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing at this point and then when I log on this morning it was to this national outage if I can remember I will post the link to the article I believe you guys may have been affected by this this was a I think it was a cyber security outage like it's a global outage so it's not it's impacting multiple companies across the world like I believe this is why my um like around 1 a.m this morning my computer mom like my desk is all set up and I actually need to show you guys something um but around 1 a.m this morning both of my screens just randomly turned on and it doesn't turn on you know usually unless I log on but it just turned on everything rebooted and I'm like what the heck is going on so I think that's related to it but what I wanted to show you is this I got this new um desk riser stand on Amazon right before I went on vacation I like it I used to have just like one monitor on like an acrylic stand but this one it's just spans like the most like the entire width of my desk which I like so that's what you guys are sitting on currently this new monitor stand since I now have space to put you up there. I'm gonna try and figure out what I need to be working on because I've seen a couple of emails this morning about this um, cyber security outage like our company started sending out email communications at least to us in the US around 6 a.m. I believe about the outage and we've been getting emails like every 10 to 15 minutes about it. Several um, systems are down and tools that we use are down like Tableau is down, Click is down. I logged into Teradata so that's still working to my knowledge. Well at least I can log in. I don't know if it like I can run a query or anything but again I don't know what I'm supposed to be working on at this moment like you know how you go on vacation you forget everything you were doing and now it's like okay time to come back to work and it's like what was I working on I have no clue yeah. <laughs> it's crazy with this outage come back to work like I should have just taken the day off I should have just taken the day off like and just I've been off a week but I should have just taken an extra day and just been out today and see y'all Monday <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to go to some of my dashboards and see because it says Tableau is down, but we'll see. Okay, so everything's just blank. Like all of the Tableau, all of the links that I have saved to the Tableau dashboards are blank. So yeah, I'm going to say, well, not that I'm saying they've already told us the servers are down so they're not up yet so nothing i can do in tableau let me see because they said um it was impacting whatever is in production and stuff non-production but i wonder if i can access what's on my desktop like okay so the desktop version is i can get into the desktop version which is good okay but everything that's on the server appears to be down so if i need to work on that offline my manager so with this global outage it says that people like not only are like systems down like microsoft stuff down all of the google products suite of products and things that we use work fine slack appears to be working fine but like some people can't even log on to their laptops or computers today so my manager is one of the people that can't even log into the system today until this is fixed um she says it's giving her the option to do a, a fix, like to repair it. I don't know if that's gonna work, we'll see. But yeah, so we have a call in about 10 minutes that I guess I need to join so we I can get caught up on what's been going on this week. I know we have this audit call at 10 this morning to go over that, but I'm like, I was only here for like the prelim stages of how we should do the audit process. Um, the other person on my team, she and my manager was supposed to be meeting earlier this week to finalize and go o over everything that we've discussed so far on what we think we should do and who we think we should do it with. And so they were supposed to be like finalizing that so that we can review it on the call today with our partners. But 
I don't know where they landed. So hopefully someone can get me caught up and um, tell me because I have over 100, I have like 150 unread emails. And my toxic trait is that I will click on the email without reading it. I hate unread email notifications. I need them to disappear. So I just click through the emails without reading them. And if it's something important, I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll find it eventually. But yeah, I can't have 130, 40, 50 unread email notifications so I'm gonna click through these so that disappears and then hopefully everybody tells me everything okay bye let's get on this call got stuff everywhere hello of course they're not yeah they have the best security well I is there anything I need to get caught up on so are we continuing none of the new stuff is happening I have no clue what we're even talking about at this point. You just give me a Why are you I don't know, I've been gone all week.